What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're bringing you a brand new video over here with Brian. What are you doing over there, G? Taking off this brake caliper. Brian's gonna be putting some extended ARP uh, lug, lug studs, some studs for his car. Because, because why? Because you can guys see, most of these studs are pretty fucked up, and then, um, the guy's fucking studs right now, bro. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are all fucked up. And I need to run this little spacer, or else, um, the wheel. The barrel, the inner barrel hits his coilover if he runs no spacer. And with this spacer, there's barely any thread, um, left, so that's why I decided to get these, um, extended studs, so it could be a lot more thread. ARP, of course, and some new lug nuts. Because some open lug nuts because his are all fucked up already, huh, Brian? Yeah. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> so how do you how do you remove? It's a 14 right here, back here. Yep. 14. These two. You gotta take off the caliper first, then the rotor. And look, my finger is fucked up right now. Fucked it up at work. We got Brian's weds over here. 11s. 11s and a half, I think. Pretty wet. There's a new wrap right there that we still haven't put. Yeah, we got some black wrap over here that we're gonna put on Brian's roof after we finish this. Black roof and then with the new color, so the cool. I don't think they even know I got wrap, bro. They do. Always use jack stands, guys. Safety first. The VCs, oh yeah, you guys can see over here where his wheel was hitting without the spacer. Right here, and like right here, I guess. What the fuck? Why is this shit loose, bro? Yeah, we need to drop this bottom one. I don't know why it's up there, but yeah. Drop that shit right now for him. No, I'm just kidding. Um, gas, but <clears throat> rotor off, the caliper off. Now, what, Brian? Some from a video I saw. Uh, so you would have to take off uh, this spring right here, just get one side off and then it'll come off the other side. And then you have to um, uh, twist these until like they uh, come out and you'll feel it. And screw it off basically. Yeah, and then once that's off, you have to take off this whole thing off. And then once that, you get a little room to put in the extended uh, studs and then you have a lot of space because right now you don't have enough space to do it. So that's why you have to take the e-brake assembly off. Yes, sir, because the OEM ones barely fit on with this, so. The extended ones aren't gonna fit so yeah um to get this off just two 17s right or 19s it was a 19 yeah two the two 19 ones that hold the caliper that comes off and that comes off so just two two bolts and and then this the springs and this not too bad all right guys so before you guys take the this e-brake assembly right here thing you guys gotta remove these three uh nuts and and the bolt right here these are nuts and these, this one's the bolt the middle one take those three off first and then you do this right here oh. counterclockwise huh counterclockwise oh, no clockwise huh clockwise yeah these clockwise. Are clockwise. we already got this one right here now we need to do these so we two. do it with the wrench yeah all right guys so this is why you need to take off all that thing, all that, so you can get that space right there. To put them in right there. And you gotta back it up into there. Where's that one? Into there, because these are pretty long, as you can see. Watch. Extended versus the OEM ones. Almost half. Like that. And there you go. After that, 
that's the difference right there, almost half. And then just put everything back how it was. Tighten these, tighten these, and should be all good. We're gonna do that right now, and then we'll update you guys soon. All right, guys. So we kind of didn't record any of the process putting everything back, but we're all done. Brian got down, huh? Yeah, got look, look at him, all dirty. <laughs> Extended studs are on this side. Well, we're done with this side. The other side, we haven't done it yet. All stock, OEM studs. We're probably gonna finish later or tomorrow because I have to go to a dentist. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there it is. Wasn't too hard. It just takes some time, but it's not anything too hard, huh? If I could do it, you guys could do it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Put the wheel on. Let's see. After. Right now. <laughs> I don't want to fuck up the stuff. All right, the we'll, we'll show you guys right now with the wheel is on. All right, as you guys can see, now there is a lot of um, thread for the lug nuts, even with the five mm spacer. And there you go. This one's still I good. I have a thread now. Uh, check. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're doing the other side. Um, I'm doing the is... other side. Shut up, bitch. Um, that's how you... Um, compress the studs the new studs in you add some washers and then you put the egg nut and you hit it with the gun we're gonna watch the, brian do it right now do the first one is that straight though All right, guys, so Brian is all done. Just finished uh, tightening everything back on, all the bolts, nuts. Extended studs on the driver's side, all done for the back. Um, we're gonna do the front some other day. But yeah. How hard was it from a scale of one to 10? Not that hard. Like a what? Uh, like a five, four, four or five. Yeah, not too bad. You just gotta remember how everything is, especially the e-brake assembly. Take a picture before you guys take it apart, so you guys know how to put it back. So yeah, not too bad. It's all done now. A ARP extended studs for the Z. Side is done as well. Brian needs some lug nuts. Missing two right here. But yeah. Brian's slowly trying to make the Z um, mint or reliable again. All right. Uh -huh. Coming out slowly. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. What do you want to say, Brian? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, the wrapping video might come out soon. We could get that done, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.